Hi there, this is the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active and in this video we're going to do the benchmarking for this phone. I've already done the unboxing for this phone so if you want to know what comes inside the box and a general overview about this phone you can check out the unboxing video and uh, actually this is a what do you say a rugged version of the regular galaxy s4 it's a weather resistant phone and uh, samsung says it's uh, dust resistant and a little bit of water resistant also and we'll do the benchmarking for this one and this is powered by a qualcomm based processor let me show you the same and as you can see it's powered by a snapdragon 600 processor clocked at 1.9 gigahertz and uh, according to the cpu set the minimum frequency that it can go is 384 megahertz and the max is 1.89 and it's a quad core processor that means it has four cores and it's powered by a adreno 320 gpu coming to uh, the ram it has two gigs of ram and internal storage is 16 gb the panel is again a 1080p panel but it's not a super amulet panel like we get on the regular galaxy s4 but it's ips great panel and i would say the viewing angles as you can see i'm tilting the phone to extreme angles is pretty good so the panel is very good so the ppi is the same 441 so it's very dense panel and let's start some benchmarking and first let me uh, start with the quadrant and let me show you the system info again as you can see quadrant also reports it's a quad core processor and it has two gigs of ram gpus adreno 320 resolution as i said it's full hd that's 1080p and these are the sensors and let me now show you the quadrant score and as you can see actually we got a very healthy score of 12581 in the quadrant and it's actually very close to the uh, samsung galaxy s4 octa core version the total is 12581 out of that the cpu got a score of 41054 memory is 11568 io is 7591 and 2d is 500 and 3d graphics is 2194 so very good quadrant scores i would say and i also ran the antutu benchmark so let me show you the same and as you can see in antutu we get a score of 24484 which is again a very impressive scores let me show you the detailed scores and these are the detailed scores that we get in the antutu benchmark I also ran this Nina Mark 2 and I know yes it's not very relevant right now but let me show you the quick scores and as you can see we got the max score that is around 60 fps. Uh, also I did run some other benchmarks like uh, what do you say the Geekbench so let me show you the scores for Geekbench now and as you can see in Geekbench we get a very healthy score of 3273. I also ran the Epic Citadel uh, which is uh, which actually tests the GPU performance of this uh, phone and actually this benchmark does take quite a while so let me quickly show you the scores directly and as you can see uh, we got again a very healthy score in this epic citadel we got an average fps of 58.8 i would say anything above 55 is pretty good so again as you can see we got some very good results uh, in benchmarks with the samsung galaxy s4 active I always say benchmarks just give you half the story so I'll also be doing some gaming with this uh, phone for example I'll run some high game uh, high-end games like Asphalt 8 and a lot of other games so stay tuned to my channel I'll be posting these videos very soon that's it for now this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video